Most people believe that eating before a workout is necessary for energy, yet millions are now training on an empty stomach, convinced it unlocks faster fat loss and better health. Some swear by it, others warn it can backfire. So what actually happens inside your body when you work out while fasting? In this video, you will learn what really changes when you exercise without eating first. Not opinions, not trends, but what your body is scientifically programmed to do, you will discover how your fuel system shifts, which hormones rise and fall, and why fasted workouts feel easy for some people and terrible for others. You will also learn the difference between burning fat during a workout and actually losing body fat over time, something most people confuse. There is more. We will uncover lesser known effects that are rarely explained how fasting can quietly improve insulin sensitivity, why certain workouts work better when fasted while others suffer, and how training at the wrong intensity while fasting can slow progress instead of speeding it up. These details matter, especially if your goal is fat loss, metabolic health, or long-term fitness. You will also learn why fasted workouts are not magic. Research shows that while fat use may increase during exercise, results depend heavily on context, calories, consistency, recovery, and the type of workout all play a role. We will break this down in a clear and simple way so you can decide if this approach fits your body and your goals. Toward the end of this video, you will hear the most important takeaway, the part that most videos skip, the one rule that determines whether fasting plus exercise helps you or holds you back. This is where everything comes together. If you leave early, you will miss the one insight that makes the difference between smart fasting and wasted effort. This video is not about extremes. It is about understanding your body. When you understand how your metabolism responds to fasting and movement, you stop guessing, you stop following trends blindly, and you start making choices that actually work for you. So stay with us until the end. Every section builds on the last. By the time you finish watching, you will know exactly what happens when you work out while fasting, who it benefits, who should be careful, and how to approach it safely. Welcome to our channel where we break down health and fitness using simple science-based explanations. If you want more videos like this, subscribe now and stay with us. Fasting simply means going for a period of time without eating. This could be overnight, several hours into the day, or longer depending on the approach. During this time, your body does not receive new calories, so it must rely on what is already stored inside you. At first, your body uses glucose, which comes from carbohydrates you ate earlier. This glucose is stored in the liver and muscles as glycogen and is usually the body's preferred source of quick energy. As fasting continues, these glycogen stores begin to drop. This does not happen instantly, but gradually, when glucose becomes less available, your body starts adjusting, hormones begin to shift, insulin levels fall, which signals that energy is no longer coming from food. At the same time, other hormones that help release stored energy become more active. This change tells your body to stop relying on incoming fuel and start using what it already has. At this stage, your body begins turning to stored fuel, mainly fat. Fat is broken down into fatty acids and released into the bloodstream to be used for energy in longer fasting periods, the liver also produces ketones, which can fuel the brain and muscles. This shift does not mean glucose disappears completely, but it does mean your body becomes more flexible in how it produces energy. These internal changes directly affect how exercise feels. Without recent food, energy may feel steadier but less explosive. Movements that rely on endurance often feel manageable, while sudden bursts of high intensity may feel harder. Some people notice they feel lighter or more focused, while others feel slower or less powerful. 
This difference comes from how efficiently the body switches between fuel sources. Because fasting changes the balance of fuels and hormones, exercise no longer runs on the same system as it does in a fed state. The body is working with a different set of tools, and that changes how effort is perceived, how quickly fatigue appears, and how the workout unfolds. Under normal conditions, your body prefers to use carbohydrates for energy during exercise. Carbohydrates are quickly broken down into glucose, which muscles can use fast and efficiently. This is especially true during moderate to high intensity workouts, where the demand for energy rises quickly. When you eat before training, glucose is readily available, and your body has no reason to look elsewhere for fuel. During fasting, this situation changes. Carbohydrate availability is lower because you have not eaten recently. Glycogen stores, especially in the liver, are reduced with less glucose circulating. In the blood, your body adapts by shifting its fuel strategy. Instead of relying mainly on carbohydrates, it increases the use of fat as an energy source. Fat stored in the body is broken down and released into the bloodstream where muscles can access it during exercise. As a result, a larger percentage of the energy used during fasted exercise comes from fat. This is often described as increased fat burning during the workout itself. The body is simply responding to what is available. When carbohydrates are scarce, fat becomes the dominant fuel, especially during lower and moderate intensity movements. This shift can happen quietly in the background without any dramatic sensation, which is why some people do not notice much difference at first. However, there is an important detail that often gets overlooked. Using more fat for energy during a single workout does not automatically translate to greater fat loss over time. The body balances energy across the entire day, not just during one exercise session. If calories are later replaced through food, the fat burn during the workout can be restored. Weight loss and fat loss depend on total energy balance, how much you eat, how often you move, and how consistently you train all matter. Fasted exercise changes which fuel is used in the moment, but it does not override the basic rules of energy balance. This is why some people see results while others do not, even when following the same fasting routine. When exercise is done in a fasted state, the body often relies more heavily on stored fat for energy. With fewer carbohydrates available, fat becomes a primary fuel source. Over time, repeatedly tapping into these fat stores may support a gradual reduction in fat mass. This does not happen overnight, but the consistent use of fat for energy can encourage the body to become more efficient at accessing and using its own reserves. For people who train regularly, this shift can support changes in how the body stores and uses energy. Another effect linked to fasted workouts involves insulin sensitivity. Insulin is a hormone that helps move sugar from the blood into cells. When insulin sensitivity improves, the body needs less insulin to manage blood sugar levels. Fasting naturally lowers insulin levels and exercise further strengthens the muscle's ability to absorb glucose. When these two are combined, the body may respond better to carbohydrates when food is reintroduced. This improved response can help stabilize blood sugar and reduce large spikes after meals which is important for long-term metabolic health. Changes in insulin function can also influence how the body stores fat. When insulin levels are lower and sensitivity is higher, the body is less likely to store excess energy as fat. Instead, more of that energy can be directed toward muscle recovery and daily activity. This creates an internal environment that supports healthier energy use rather than constant storage. When fasting is paired with consistent exercise, some people experience improvements in body composition. This refers to the ratio of fat mass to lean mass in the body, 
While the scale may not always change dramatically, the distribution of weight can shift. Fat mass may decrease while muscle mass is preserved, especially when training includes resistance or structured movement. These changes can lead to a leaner appearance and more stable energy levels, even without extreme dieting. While fasted workouts can offer certain advantages, they also come with real limits that cannot be ignored. One of the most noticeable is a drop in performance, especially during demanding exercise. Without readily available carbohydrates, the body may struggle to produce quick bursts of energy. This can make you feel weaker, slower, or less explosive than usual. Movements that require speed, power, or heavy effort often suffer the most. Lifting heavy weights, sprinting, or high-intensity interval training may feel harder to sustain when fuel levels are low. As intensity rises, the gap becomes more noticeable. Low-intensity activities, like walking or steady cycling, often feel manageable in a fasted state because they rely more on fat for fuel. High-intensity efforts, however, depend heavily on carbohydrates. When those are limited, the muscles fatigue faster. This does not mean the workout is useless, but it does change how much work you can realistically perform and how long you can maintain effort. Fasted training can also increase the sense of effort. Even if the workout is not technically harder, it may feel harder. The body is working with fewer immediate resources, which can raise perceived exertion. Breathing may feel heavier, muscles may tire sooner, focus can drop more quickly. This can affect motivation and consistency, especially for people new to fasting or exercise. Hydration adds another layer of risk. During longer fasting periods, especially when water intake is limited, dehydration becomes more likely. Exercise increases fluid loss through sweat, and without proper hydration, the body struggles to regulate temperature and blood pressure. Warning signs can include dizziness, nausea, headaches, and unusual fatigue. In hot environments or during intense sessions, these risks increase further. Paying attention to these signals is essential as pushing through them can lead to unnecessary strain and safety issues. When researchers look closely at fasted exercise, the results are not as simple as many headlines suggest. Some studies do show that the body burns a higher percentage of fat during workouts performed without eating. This finding is consistent across different forms of low to moderate intensity exercise. However, when scientists track fat loss over weeks or months, the results are far less consistent burning more fat during a single session does not always lead to greater fat loss overall. In many cases, total fat loss ends up being similar, whether workouts are done fasted or fed. Performance outcomes are also mixed. Some research finds no meaningful difference in strength, endurance, or fitness improvements between fasted and non-fasted training when total calories and protein intake are matched. Other studies suggest that performance can decline during fasted sessions, especially in high-intensity or strength-focused workouts. Health markers such as cholesterol levels, blood sugar control, and metabolic rate also vary across studies with no clear advantage that applies to everyone. These differences highlight an important reality. The human body does not respond the same way across individuals, genetics, training history, sleep quality, stress levels, and diet all influence how someone reacts to fasted exercise. For some people, working out without eating feels natural and even energizing. Focus may improve, and hunger may stay low during and after training. For others, the same approach leads to fatigue, lightheadedness, or a sharp drop in performance. Goals also play a major role. Someone aiming for endurance or general health may tolerate fasted training well, especially at lower intensities. Someone focused on muscle growth, strength gains, or explosive power may struggle without pre-workout fuel. The type of exercise matters just as much. Walking, mobility work, and steady cardio place different demands on the body than heavy lifting or sprinting. 
These variables explain why scientific findings remain mixed and why personal response often matters more than averages reported in studies. For those who are curious about trying fasted workouts, a gradual approach matters. Starting with low to moderate intensity exercise allows the body to adapt without unnecessary strain. Activities such as walking, light cycling, or controlled resistance training place less immediate demand on quick energy and are often easier to tolerate without food. This gives you a chance to observe how your body responds before attempting anything more demanding. Hydration becomes especially important during this process. Even when food is restricted, fluid intake should remain consistent. Water supports circulation, temperature control, and muscle function, all of which are stressed during exercise. During eating windows, replenishing fluids and electrolytes can help maintain balance and reduce fatigue in future sessions. Proper hydration often makes the difference between a manageable workout and one that feels overwhelming. Paying attention to internal signals is essential. Energy levels, focus, mood, and recovery all provide useful feedback. Feeling steady and alert is different from pushing through dizziness or weakness. If concentration drops sharply or fatigue appears unusually fast, that is information worth respecting. Fasted training is not meant to feel punishing. Adjustments in intensity, timing, or frequency may be needed based on how the body reacts. Timing also plays a personal role. Some people naturally feel better exercising before eating, especially early in the day. Appetite may stay controlled and movement can feel smoother. Others perform better after a meal when energy feels more stable and strength is easier to access. Both approaches can work depending on the individual, daily schedule, stress levels, sleep quality, and workout goals all influence which timing feels more sustainable. Finding the right approach often requires experimentation rather than strict rules. Fasted workouts change how your body uses energy. When food is not immediately available, the body adapts by relying more on stored fuel. This shift can increase fat use during exercise and may support better insulin control in some people. These effects are real, but they are often misunderstood they do not automatically translate into faster or greater weight loss. Weight loss is not decided by one workout or one strategy. It is shaped by what you do consistently over time. Your total food intake, the quality of your diet, how often you move, and how well you recover all matter more than whether you train fasted or fed. Fasted workouts can be a useful tool, but they are not a shortcut. For some people, they fit naturally into their routine. For others, they add unnecessary stress without extra benefit. The most important takeaway is this. The best approach is the one you can maintain while feeling strong, focused, and healthy. Understanding how your body responds allows you to make smarter choices instead of following trends blindly. When you align your training, nutrition, and lifestyle, results follow in a steady and sustainable way. If this video helped you understand how fasted workouts actually affect your body, support the channel by liking this video. And if you want more clear science-based explanations like this, subscribe to our channel and stay with us.